Mexico, they make so much money from the United States and so many other things, so many other assets. They have to grab it and they have to stop it. We have right now two big caravans coming up from Guatemala, massive caravans walking right through Mexico. So Mexico is tough. They can stop them, but they chose not to. Now they're going to stop them. And if they don't stop them, we're closing the border. They'll close it and we'll, we'll keep it closed for a long time. I'm not playing games. Mexico has to stop it. They have people coming right through Mexico. It's a long, very dangerous journey. Mexico sends buses. They send trucks. They do absolutely. They started at one point a little bit stopping. They don't do anything to stop it right now. So and they march up here. And they're coming into their country. We're not letting them in our country. Our Border Patrol, the job they've done is incredible. The job that ICE is doing is incredible. And we have run out of space. We can't hold people anymore. And Mexico can stop it so easily. They don't go through a court system every time somebody steps on our land. You step on our land, welcome to the United States. It's ridiculous. People pour into this country. We stop them because Border Patrol is so incredible. But there's a point at which you can't stop them anymore. We have no detention space, no nothing. Yeah, Thank you, you, funny for the care of you guys. Thank you. You're going to always take care of pre-existing conditions. Just remember that. Always pre-existing conditions. But Obamacare is too costly for people. They can't afford it. Obamacare is a disaster. Right now, it's losing in court. Right now, in the Texas court, as you know, probably ends up in the Supreme Court. But we're, playing, we're doing something that is going to be much less expensive than Obamacare for the people. I'm not saying government. I'm saying for the people. And we're going to have pre-existing conditions, and we'll have a much lower deductible. So, and I've been saying it. The Republicans are going to end up being the party of health care. Thank you very Mr. much. President,